Hello, everybody. Andrea here with Dental L. I'm going to go through the blueprint a little bit with you guys for the dental assisting board exam and how I want you to study the blueprint to really maximize your time in studying what you need to know to pass the board exam and how I help you with that. So I'm going to share my screen here for you. I'm going to show you guys the blueprint first. So as an example, in um, Dental L, I have a tutoring course coming up, I believe it is in a couple of weeks, where I just talk about the oral cavity. So notice how the oral cavity is um, under dental sciences, section 2.1. So I talk about the oral cavity. I don't want you guys to look in the blueprint and read one by one, because if you say to yourself, okay, I'm going to describe, locate, and identify structures of the oral cavity right here, and then you look through the textbooks, look through the notes. If you have signed up for my course, you, you look through those notes, you write your own notes, that's going to take you forever. What I want you to do per topic, so take oral anatomy, is read all of these points and put them together. As an example, what oral anatomy is, is you, is you need to identify the oral cavity inside the mouth, the hard tissues, the soft tissues, and the supporting structure. That's it. Doesn't that sound so much easier than having to go one by one? So you're probably wondering, okay, Andrea, help me. What do I study then? So you need to study the hard tissues, that's the teeth. Study the enamel, dentin, cementum, all of that. You need to study the supporting structures, study the ligaments, the bone, because all of that's attaching. Study peri uh, periodontal disease, because that's where you talk about ligaments and what happens when, when the ligaments aren't there. How does bone loss happen? So that's critical thinking but you also have to study the soft tissues and the other hard tissues too. But think the soft palate, the hard palate, inside the cheeks, linea alba, kind of a little bit of oral pathology too, but we talk about more in the oral pathology section. But notice how all of that comes together. So just as an example, I have, I'm gonna stop sharing my screen for a moment, our next tutoring class together, we are talking about the oral cavity. So I don't just read through PowerPoints, like 90 PowerPoints. Let's talk about cementum for like 10 minutes. No, what I do to make it much easier studying. I mean, sometimes there are PowerPoints like that. Yes, but what I'm doing for the oral cavity, let me share my screen. Here's just the quick, very easy, very quick PowerPoint on the oral cavity. So what I do is I'm going to go through the first slide here. I mix it up. So guess what? We're not talking about the teeth first. Sorry if it's blurry for you guys here. I'm just gonna make it really big just so you guys can see. I talk about things first that you probably forgot about. This is semester one stuff right here. You might be looking at this thinking this is super easy, but believe it or not on the board exam, they're not gonna ask about the interdental papilla otherwise known as the interdental gingiva. They're going to ask things like, what is the mandibular buccal frenum? You might be saying to yourself, mandibular buccal frenum. So the mandible, the buccal is on the inside, the frenum is skin tissue. So you're putting everything together, but I help you guys formulate possible questions per slide. And I'm not just reading off the slides either. I'm teaching you guys and having you look at this image and then going through what they might ask you for the board exam. Perfect example. When you're a dental hygienist and you're probing a client, where are you probing? Well, guess what? You probe under the sulcus, more specifically under the marginal gingiva into the interdental papilla. If you didn't know that you're also probing into that interdental papilla, you would get that question wrong. But if you're just looking at this diagram, you might say, okay, I know I probe under here. That's the marginal gingiva, right? And then you would answer the question that way, but you need to know the whole picture. So, so again, just going down a slide here, and then I make it a little bit harder where we go through a lot more. We talk about a lot more. I'm going to tell you guys, they love to ask about the retromolar pad on the board exam. The retromolar pad is only on the mandible. The same area on the top is called the maxillary tuberosity. I go through all of that, but I teach it to you in a different way. So you're not just reading the textbook going, okay, the retromolar pad 
is the gingiva distal to the last tooth in the mouth. You're, you, you, excuse me, you are learning it this way where I'm showing you the image so you can visualize it and I'm teaching you. So that's how I help you guys go through the blueprint, either for dental assisting, dental hygiene, it doesn't matter. We go through the blueprints together so you can really study it that way. And then you know what to study for. And then another great thing is we go through mock exam questions. So I have a lecture um, session, but then I'm also going to have another session where it's mock exam questions based on what you had learned. If you attend the mock exam session and, and you don't know any of the questions, you're really confused, you're not sure, I'm there to help. I will probably tell you or ask you, did you study? Did you attend our last session? session because this is probably why you can't answer those mock exam questions but also the nice thing is if you can't attend live the sessions are always recorded so you can listen to them anytime they are recorded for up to two years so even if you sign up now for either the dental assisting or the dental hygiene board exam prep academy you can see our past lessons so i'm going to share my screen again for the blueprint let's say you're going through and you want to do oral anatomy first you can look at my oral anatomy lecture from 2020 it's going to be a different powerpoint sometimes it's the same one depending on kind of what i'm teaching but so you're always learning something different in a different style this will ensure that you pass and then when you look inside the course you will see all of the individual PowerPoints right there. We have a private Facebook group to network with other students where I put up all of our session dates. I put up session recordings. So you kind of work through everything together. You're constantly learning. You are in touch with me constantly, full support. Email me, chat with me anytime. I am truly here to help you and everything is online. So you learn at your own pace, which is fantastic. You can go as quick or as slow as you want. So I hope this helps you guys. Let me know if any questions, please click like if you like the video. I'm going to leave the links for you guys down below for the blueprint that I did show you. This one's for dental assisting specifically, since I was showing you that I'm copying the link right now for you. Um, and I'm also going to leave the links down below for the Dental Assisting Board Exam Prep Academy and the Dental Hygiene Board Exam Prep Academy, which is full tutoring. We go through, the, or, or sorry, a full prep course with tutoring, of course, but we go through everything, the blueprint, everything. So you guys pass, okay? Good luck. Um, click like if you haven't, because that does help me and my channel, and I'll talk to you guys very soon, okay? Thank you so much for watching.